This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. so cozy on this chilly Friday morning. Welcome to Today in Nashville. Hey, today's show has all the things. Margaritas. Mm -hmm. We're talking food. We are having a magic trick off the top of the show in With just a few Elmo. minutes. I mean, all the things. Right? Yes, but cool we're super that? excited about one of our special guests as well. Two of our special guests. A lot of the our special guests. The fact that these two came together makes so much sense it in does. my life. It really does. Scott Hamilton and Lisa Welchel are together. She is hosting a new show on the Me Network, which I love. It's all about collectibles, and it turns out Scott's a collector. I had and no so idea. And so it's like, we're gonna see his... I mean, we've talked to Scott so many times. I feel like this was a part of his life he hid from us. Well, I, I mean, he's busy doing his charitable yes, work. You know, he's like, he's got saving a lot lives and inspiring people and right. all the things. Yeah. So now we get to see what he likes in his downtime, which is collecting, so. I'm just so be excited. Cool. Anyway, we be great. promised ourselves we would not sing the Facts of Life theme song to Lisa. Definitely not, but we'll sing it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get ready, we're so happy she's here. I mean, it is freezing outside. Still, I thought if the sun's out, so that's better. We're just wimps, and yeah, we all we know are. it, and that's fine. We know it, we own it, and Nashville's own Doug the Pug decided to get wrapped up and cozy on his own, and look. Listen, he's... Doug is my spirit animal, for sure, <laughs> and he said when it snows, but you still have to go to work, this is mood, for sure. Yeah, I love it. You know, I bet Doug does go to work. He's a busy, he's a Doug busy little pug. Doug has a lot of shoots that are Listen, happening. He's got, he's got more deals than I got going on, that's for sure. One thing Doug does and have beer, but we've got it. Look at this. Guys, Avondale Brewing Company. So they just sent up their latest lineup. Yes. I really love the way their labels are. It's got Aren't like this cool? 70s sort of vibe to me. That's what it's saying to me. I don't know what it says to you. A-OK -okay IPA. This is awesome. They have one that's called Sour Pash. You have that Here, one. I'm going to turn it around It's like so a you passion fruit beer. Yes. Isn't that fun? Now, I got to tell you, I went into a deep dive on this company. They are based in Alabama, and they said it all got started with a diva, an elephant that used to be uh, paraded up and down the streets in Avondale, Alabama, and she liked to drink beer. They fed this elephant beer. It's in the 1920s. A lot of things happened. But that's why Alabama, 1920s, an elephant going up and down the street inspired the beers? Yeah, that's why there's an elephant right there. See? What? Look, there's an elephant right there. There she is. Isn't that great? Wow. Look at that. Well, you got to read the Alabama, the mascot, the elephant. Read would... the whole story on their right, website. Right. They just launched in Nashville, so you can go out and get some of these Avondale beers. All right, you're trying the brunch punch, mm -hmm. which that seems like it would speak to me. It will absolutely speak to you yeah. in all of the ways. Right, this, this is fantastic. Is... Love it. Yeah, and I do like their labels. They're really cute. What is that? Oh, is that it, the Sour Passion? It's fantastic. Mm. Yes, it is. Very Happy cool. Happy Friday. So, Avondale Beers, welcome to Nashville. They're now in more than 100 places here in town. Avondalebrewing.com, or just go look for it. Look for the Very elephant. Cool. Except no substitutes. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> hey, um, so pre-kids. Yeah, okay. I would arrive to the airport with just like a nickel of time, like oh, five yeah? minutes. Oh, yeah. You I wanted mean, to be the last one on the plane? I, there was just something I was pro, now that I have kids, I've got too many variables. So, oh. you know, I, I'm, I'm a good student now. Yeah, yeah. But BNA speaks to my soul because it turns out our sweet airport is one of the worst places to go if you're running, or one of the best places to go if you're running late. Yeah, if you're a bad person and you're running late, it's fine. Procrastinator's dream. Finance Buzz looked at 45 busiest airports in the U.S. Nashville International ranked fifth best for travelers who are running late. Who knew? You Average know why? Uh, average security time, 14 minutes. They that, get through, that's why. That is a high number, yeah, by the way. You yeah. know when you get to BNA, you are through security like that. And if, if there's a long line, they'll open another line. They're good. Which is amazing. So well, the worst airport for travelers no is surprise. Newark. Newark, New Jersey. Poor Newark. 33 and a half minutes. Best is Hobby Airport in I, Houston. I want to go to their website to look at Orlando. Because to me, Orlando's Orlando rough. is always I can worst. I can attest. Having flown in and out multiple times, it's, it's a Disney it's, in you. It's a it's a slow roll. The fact that you still want to go there, I mean, the airport alone, it is it's a lot. Our the mouse does a lot for that. Okay, if you're a Preds fan, cheers. 
because so are we. But if you also like Chipotle, we've got your dinner plans covered. Today, the restaurant gets two meals for the price of one, only if you show up in your jersey. Put on your favorite hockey jersey and head on over. You have to eat in. It is not a carry out, but it's a BOGO if you've yeah, got like on a they, jersey. They don't want you to eat and leave. They want hmm. you to eat right there you with your jersey in. on. Show your pride. And hang out. Yeah, Very it cool. is uh, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the Miracle on Ice. Gosh, a miracle. <gasps> do you believe in miracles? Yes, we do. I love it. Team the USA beating. Olympics. That's Soviet amazing. Union 1980 Winter Olympics a gold medal. I just love that it's still being talked about today. That's oh, pretty awesome. Oh, it's so good. I do love it. Okay, guys, I'm bringing out the hat. You ready? Get ready for that's your a good Yeti. Look, it's a good looking hat because uh -huh. Yeti's in town. Whoop, whoop. We love all the look. They knew us. They were like, what do these two ladies drink? Coffee and wine. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So this is really cool. I didn't know this. They stepped into the world of film. Yeti Films is doing a film tour, and they're oh, cool. tonight at Marathon Music oh, Works. Oh, wow. You know what? I should have known this. It would just be an incredible showcase of athleticism right. and adventure. Oh, yeah. That is what Yeti is all about. They're celebrating protecting our country in the wild, yeah. preserving the wild as well. In fact, the money from the tickets sold will go to preservation of all the wild parts of our country, which I love. Okay, so you can so get tickets cool. for this event on Eventbrite, which is always such a great yeah. resource. Go there. You know what this cup's good for? Oh, keeping it cold. Look at you. Keeping it cold. I love it. So go check out Perfect Yeti Size tonight. We can no longer wait because we've been looking over to the side and we are so excited. You better put this down put for this one. Put that down. Because it's Elmo's Elmo. here. We're so happy. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Here. Does okay. this show have something for everybody or what? Sure we does. We do. <laughs> Sesame Street Live lighting up the stage this weekend. Just Come Sunday. On, there. That's right. One day we have two shows. Everyone is personally invited. Oh we God. want you to come join us. Walk down Sesame Street with Elmo and Abby Cadabby oh. as they discover the power of yet, which is with practice and perseverance, nothing will stand in the way of your dreams. I so Elmo has been working great. on a magic trick, and he's here to oh. show everyone. I was going to ask, what's in the bag, okay? Elmo? Oh, so we're going to show God. the handkerchief like okay. this. There's nothing in it. You put it over your hands, Elmo, just like we practiced. Okay. And if you could say the magic words, after me. Okay. Ready? Yes. There. Sessa you, Sessa me. Sessa you, Sessa me. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, magic. Some flowers for you. <laughs> Elmo, that was really good. You had to practice that a long time, didn't you? Yeah, yes, we've been you working did. Really hard, but well, keep going. That's Never a, give up. That's, that's the right. whole message mm -hmm. of the show, right? Never give up. And all of our Sesame Street friends will be there, yes? Of course. We're discovering magic in our everyday lives. So, Baking cookies with Cookie Monster, discovering our shadows with Big Bird, and mixing the three primary colors up with Grover. I love, I love it. I love Sesame Street Live, Bridgestone, Sunday only, but they've got a couple different shows for you. Yes. Four tickets go to Sesame Street Live. Dot com. Elmo, uh, we you're love the best. You. Boom. Oh. Thank you. You're the best. Oh, I love Thank warm hugs. You. The best. So fun. Go see Sesame Street Live. Yes, Guys, thank please. you so much. I'm going to give those to Thanks. you. There's you some magic that happened over here. Hello. Hello. He made the flowers appear and then he gave us hot chicken. I didn't know he could do that. Well, that's amazing. I think he's got Mardi Gras on the brain, much like many of us. Fat Tuesday oh. is coming up this what? Tuesday. So Mardi Gras is in full swing. Look, the beignets. Party Fowl is bringing their A game, friends. Beignets, king cakes, hot chicken, oh. jambalaya. We've got a mufalata over there that's looking real tasty okay, right the now. Okay, mufalata has got duck, I believe. Yeah. And there's some pork. I mean, it's still, oh gosh, a mufalata. All the of bread. It. All of the it. The bread and the olive garnish. The olive is what makes it. I love mufalata. this. So, Party Fowl is pretty amazing. It's only on February the 25th wow. when they're going to be doing this. So, the head chef of Party Fowl is from New Orleans. And so, he likes to bring a little bit of Mardi Gras. Yes, girl. Look at these beignets. Yes, girl. Do it up. That so, bring in Mardi Gras here to Nashville. I can't. Very fun. Why, no, why you can't. can't I lose oh, weight, Carol? <laughs> why can't I lose weight? I don't understand.